had a rather unusual start to my career because I responded to an anonymous box numbered ad. I hadn't got the faintest idea who put the ad there, but it turned out to be the BBC and they were looking for someone to present their first Saturday morning programme. So that's where I started. That gave me a huge amount of experience. And out of the blue, when I finished working on Swap Shop, I, I was offered a job reporting on Tomorrow's World. And that's where I really felt like I'd, I'd come home because I'd had a lifelong interest in science and technology. I hadn't studied it at university, so this felt like a, a second chance to develop that interest. I think the reason I'm fascinated by science and technology and engineering is the fact that it's not about widgets or gadgets. Really, it's about people and it's ma about making life better for people. And I think when you start to explore science and tech, there are so many different kinds of people working within it with so many different approaches. And I just find that really exciting. I love hearing about where ideas come from. So whether it's something like the red button, for instance, that's on every single remote control and how that was a group of BBC engineers having a, a coffee at their place of work. And they said, wouldn't it be great if you could just press a button and, and then get a completely different service? So, ideas which are very much more about um, a collision. I mean, Steve Jobs once said, innovation was all about joining the dots. And sometimes those dots, uh, they don't seem logical, but bringing two ideas together can create something very powerful. So that's what fascinates me, is, is understanding where did this idea come from? Obviously, how does it work? And then perhaps, where could it go? The need to encourage more young people to understand what the real opportunities are in the contemporary world is, is very urgent. I, I think at the moment we do a very good job of eliminating a lot of talent very early on and that's just because of the way we encourage young people to think of subjects in terms of silos. So you have physics, maths, biology, the arts, um, and this is slightly bonkers really because as we know in real life these things are all intermingled. Technology cuts across everything and it's going to become more and more important. I think the piece of advice that I would offer anyone who is interested in working in, in science and technology, which is to have a really good look around because the world of science and tech is so much bigger than you might ever imagine. There are so many different roles and it's a fast changing industry. So what's happening today won't necessarily be what's happening well, even tomorrow, let alone in, in five years' time. It is about your personality as well as your skills. It's really important that we create a more diverse workforce in engineering so that we, we find ways of helping girls understand they very much belong there and also helping people understand it doesn't matter what gender you are, it doesn't matter what social background you come from, that there are amazing opportunities